in this video we're going to show you how you can kind of stop escape artists i mean you really can't stop it but this is your best chance i'm gonna be giving you a couple of different defenses in this video um and i'm gonna be talking about a couple of the glitches in the game and something that i've known for quite a while i just haven't put out here on the channel and other content creators have been doing videos on stuff like this and given i was kind of hoping uh, i think as a lot of us were that ea was going to patch escape artists um out of the game either they were just going to make it so much ap that you could it was impossible to use or they were going to take it out or they were going to make it to where you could just have that and nothing else and they didn't do any of that in fact they made it so that you can have a hot route master pass lead elite and gunslinger quarterback which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And so today I just wanted to do a video, uh, first and foremost, at least saying that I, and I feel like a lot of people would join me in this, that this AP update was terrible. Obviously it's the day that MLB the show comes out and there's just a lot of issues uh, with stuff that's going on. This has probably been, just in my personal opinion, the most difficult Madden uh, in history for defense. Um, it's just really difficult to get a stop in this game and that's before escape artist uh and then uh, i remember the ultimate i think it was the ultimate thanksgiving tournament you could literally count on one hand the number of stops the competitors got in the live event which is i think eight games and there was no escape artist then now fast forward to april or, uh, march 31st 2022 and now we have escape artists and no real help on the defensive side of the ball to me this is just absolutely insane. But anyways, enough of this. Um, I'm going to show you guys, you know, at least my personal plan for defending escape artists and really a couple of the glitches that come with it. Um, so let's just jump into the video here. And if you guys want to get my full ebook on this defense, it is available in my Patreon membership. It's where everything is. This is 335 wide. And for this tip, you're really, um, you can come out in 335 normal and audible down, but you really don't need to. I mean, it, it does help get better cover players on the field, but for the first piece of this tip, you don't need to do that. Um, and the reason why is because you're gonna be blitzing your outside linebackers. They're not gonna be playing in coverage necessarily. So, you know, you could just come out in the play because uh, it doesn't really matter because again, you're blitzing. So you're gonna be blitzing them every time. So. Anyways, uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our curl flats on zero in our coaching adjustments, as you can see. And then we're just going to come out in three, three, five wide. Now, what I like to do uh, when I do this in in game mode is, like I said, I like to have my best guys on the outside here. That's why I like to leave the linebackers where they're at. Right. And then I'm going to put my user at the safety position. So what you want to do is your, you know, whoever you got, just put some linebackers here is fine. Um, and then for the for the Packers, we're gonna put Zadarius Smith and Rashawn Gary out there, the two best pass rushers. And I like to come out in the play cover one robber, but you can if you want to come out in you know whatever you want. But we're gonna show you this. Um, I think we'll just show this against with bunch tight end. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And like I said, cover one robber. Now, if you want to save yourself some adjustments, you can come out in Mike Blitz three. But in my personal opinion. Um, the cover one robber plays better the coverage uh, it just plays significantly better um, than uh, than Mike put zero okay so I'm just gonna set up my you know rollout obviously here just not gonna make any adjustments just want to show you with escape artists you literally just can get out of the pocket and you can change direction so fast it's insane obviously if you had Lamar doing this it's even better than Kyler um, but you know it doesn't really I mean, it just doesn't matter. You see, I mean, it's just, there's no way to stop it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a couple things. So the first thing that I'm going to do, you might say, well, why don't you just put a spot on the field and contain? Well, what you're going to notice is that escape artist will outrun the spy and can swerve the spy. This has been something swerving. The spy has been something for years in Madden. And it's, you know, just like this year, it's, it's really difficult to eat. It's very difficult. Spies just don't work and contains for that matter don't work. And so we have to kind of glitch them, if you will, to work. So um, how we're going to set this up is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. Now, from there, notice that we have some zones um, that are some of them are good. zone. One of them is good. One of them is not really needed. 
and that is this three wreck. So this three wreck, I've started to really like this zone as basically a spy. He'll just kind of run down the middle of the field, especially if you shade your coverage underneath, he'll kind of run over the middle and just kind of control the middle routes and as well act kind of as a spy for when the quarterback wants to run right up the middle, which is what most people are going to do um, against this defense. So I just like to come out, blitz my linebackers, shade my coverage down, QB contain. Now, from there, we're going to put both of our D linemen on curl flats. And then the last little piece of this is I like to take the middle third and put him in coverage on the tight end, just in case the tight end runs a route. Normally, if they're going to use escape, they don't typically put the tight end on a route, but I mean, obviously they certainly can. But what you'll see here is if I go to roll out, the contain is kind of there. Um, it, it does better because it's from a linebacker. Um, it's also a little bit better. I was going to do a video on this earlier in the season. If you have actual linebackers out there, this is kind of what makes 4-3 even, I think, fairly decent against this. Is Let's say that you have a linebacker that is... He's just, I just find that they get off the block a little better than, than safeties do at that position. But anyways, you see here, contain. Now again, escape artist is so good, as you can see right there. I mean, I can just find lanes. But, you know, obviously the other thing that you're going to do, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you, but as soon as they roll out, what you want to do is you want to click your joystick in. And again, it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you this. But basically, they're going to go roll out and you're clicking in the purple see how the purple comes in so the purple and the contain together are kind of the best i think defense for this just to try to keep them in the pocket now again the big frustration i have with this is your coverage is not very good i mean you have the, about the best coverage you can get but it's really not that great <laughs> i mean you have your d lineman in zones at zero yards they're not going to play anything they're hardly going to play anything they're going to basically act as spies. Essentially, we have three spies and two contains on the field. Our user, if you wanted to think of him as a spy as well. So again, you're just going to go. The contains will hold up. And then here, you see how the three rec can kind of control the middle. That's kind of one of the other secrets, I think, to the cover one robber. So that is how, or at least in my opinion, the best way to start if someone is is rolling out of the pocket because if they don't if they're not a really good player um even if they are a really good player man coverage right now in the game is the best coverage next to what i'm about to teach you out of this other defense but you can definitely get a lot done with that coverage right there okay now i'm going to show you a second defense and for this we're going to put the cover for show two in our audibles and we're going to audible down from this now this is not exactly a escape artist defense it's more of a kind of a general um kind of a general defense but it will be decent against escape so what you're going to do is you're going to audible down to cover four show two you're going to crash um you're going to crash your d-line out now if you wanted to do the purple thing you could do that out of this and the reason why is because you have the court the the four high you know coverage across so if you wanted to you could easily do that that's not a terrible idea. Um, so you can still apply what we talked about in the last video. Just put your zone drops on default. And instead of using curl flats, we're going to use two hard flats from our D ends, as you can see. Okay. That's option A. Um, if you want to do this one, my advice would be you need to make sure to put Sullivan in a vert hook. Very important. You need to put your slot corner in a vert hook. And the reason why is because it's going to help you control the middle of the field. Now, what I like to do is put him in a vert hook and shade down. And this is not terrible. It just gets you a match principle version of it. And you'll notice the flats do okay. The vert hook's nowhere near as good as the three rack, but it does do okay. All right. And then the, the second piece of this is more of a max coverage thing. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to vert hook the nickel corner. We're going to shade down. And then we're going to purple both of our outside defenders. And then what I like to do is I like to just create this little double team right here. So I'm going to get, I like to shift my line to the right and I'm going to create two one-on-ones for my uh, D line. And then if they don't have post-ups, if they have post-ups, I'm going to leave this 
Lowry right here, I'm gonna leave him blitzing. If they do have post ups on their guards, then I'm gonna put him in a bluff blitz and he'll kind of help act as a spy or controlling the middle of the field. So now they're definitely gonna be able to get out of the pocket, but what you can do is just click your joystick in and you see that it's gonna send the guys. Now again, this is a little bit of an oversimplification. It's the best two things that I've seen. The reason that these are so good, and I wanted to save this for the end of the video, for those of you that are still watching, is because this game is so broken um, from, an, from a escape artist standpoint that if you don't, I'll just show you what it, it comes down to. So let's say that I call uh, cover four drop, okay? It doesn't really matter what I call, but let's just say I call cover four drop. And I put motion Hopkins to the right and put him on a smoke screen. This is something that's been um, kind of, it's just, a, it's just a complete glitch. But basically, if your primary receiver is on a smoke screen, Whichever side you roll out to, you'll notice that they'll just blitz me and then I can throw my crosser. So all of the underneath zones, whether it be from cover three, it doesn't matter what it's from. So, and I'll just show you, I don't even have to motion him to the left side. So let's say that I wanted to put him on a smoke screen over there. He'll use a smoke screen on the left, but watch the right side. Everybody blitzes and then I can throw this and it's just a 30 yard cloud is irrelevant. It doesn't. It doesn't guard anything where this is um, where and so this is where the match idea comes from because my match I won't necessarily like I'll lose my underneath coverage on the side at which they roll out to but um, I still have a matching principle you know on top of the defense so to speak and I'll just kind of show it here and again it's just putting this guy on a smoke screen he has to be the guy that's the on the primary route of the play or the red route but then anyway you see they blitz but you see my match still plays it and plays it decently so that's why the two main defenses i'm going to be running from this point forward are going to be match and man at least until lord willing somebody patches escape and takes it out of the game it is by far the most broken ability it's made bad players uh good and it's made good players darn near impossible to stop on offense um, and it's not because they're route combos. It's because they literally can just run for 40 yards down the field. And there's really not a whole lot you can do outside of the things that I just showed you in this video. There's only one other formation in this game that is like 3-3-5 wide in the sense that they can't double team you to roll out. And the problem is it's so bad to the point that they're doing this. I'll show you real quick. One last thing here. So let's say that you set up that first defense that I showed you with the two, just imagine those flats are purples. And what they'll do is because they know the, the pursuit in this game is so bad, right? So what they'll do is they'll um, slide away and double team someone over there. So the linebacker should come in completely free or at least get one-on-one. -on -one. And again, you see how escape can just maneuver around. And again, I didn't quite do a great job there. That's more for a, a blitz. And that's the other thing. So escape base literally escape kills all all defenses and one of those is of course the blitz so let's say that i set up a five-man pressure with escape artists again you see he's just going to come in and then watch i'm just going to run around him see that and then i can get out and again that's what i'm talking about about the whole 20 to 30 yard chunks and and you had contains and a five-man pressure and they did you came in completely unblocked and it didn't matter Okay, so this is just kind of the state of where we're at right now. And I am really hoping that we're gonna get some kind of change. It's kind of why I wanted to do this video. Maybe this will, you know, maybe somebody will see this or whatever and inspire some change. But this is this is literally insane. I mean, it it's literally insane. And obviously Kyler Murray's not as fast as, I don't, I don't know what his speed is, but you know, these are DBs and he's literally just running without, without a care in the world, so that's how i would go about stopping escape please understand that the three-man contain version my personal opinion is the best way to at least get a chance at a stop and then dropping your dns and purples really can help 335 wide remains the best defense for several reasons and the biggest one of them all is that it has a decent chance 
at containing escape artists. Guys, for more on the 335Y defense, for more input on Madden, I've got a whole Patreon membership that is devoted to high level ebooks and tips. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. And I'm actually going to be putting in, I got a major project I'm working on for the trips tied in that we're going to be putting in there in the next coming days. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry if my mood was a little down in this one, but I'm just really frustrated right now with EA and just the, I mean, just the way that they've, the way that they've handled this, this year, um, specifically from an escape artist standpoint, I think is absolutely insane. Um, but any, you go on Twitter and just search Madden 22 and you'll see, you know, 80%, 80 to 90%, if not 99% of pro players or players of any caliber in this game are saying that this ability is broken and the majority of them are also saying that it needs to be out of the game. I'm definitely one of those as well. This ability is ridiculous and has caused so so a, a, a game that had decent promise to just be very unfun to play um, because of abuse of this one thing. Um, I played last night in a tournament where there was no escape artist allowed and that was literally one of the most fun times I've had playing the game. Um, and I actually got stops, right? I actually got consistent stops. And the other thing about it is I haven't used escape all year, literally just off of the fact that I know that it's going to make me a worse player because it's literally a crutch. You're going to rely on a crutch. When I first got into Madden, um, glitches in the game, like true glitches like this one, uh, I had a guy tell me don't rely on them. And the reason why is because... Uh, what happens when that glitch is taken out and this is certainly something that is insane i don't mind escape artists being in the game but give us a give us a chance to stop it and this right here is the best that i think anyone's been able to come up with in the community and it, and it has uh, it, it will contain bad players great players some of the best players in the world are still going to be fairly decent at getting out of the pocket um so anyways that's where we're at the best chance to stop escape Three three five wide, list of linebackers, put them on contains, put the DNs on on purples on zero. Uh, talked about it a couple weeks ago, and I still believe it. I think if you come out in three three five wide instead of auditing into it, I actually think that can help you. And the reason why is because um, the linebackers to me seem to shed a little bit better than the than the corners.